Hey, morning. That's what we're doing today. Um, it's just gonna take a minute to get there. I'm a little tired, still dealing with leftover Corona stuff. My energy level is still low. It was advised uh, by people online that this place, you know, actually has, you know, like a little trail, sort of park or something like that. So we're gonna go check it out to the fullest. I would think that I have a change of clothes as I always do so you know we're gonna be a few miles from uh, I think it's at Clearwater uh, and there are some other parks over there that I've been wanting to check out uh, because there's some beautiful beaches this is gonna be another Florida West Coast trip I4 shouldn't be that crazy at this time uh, because everybody that lives over there or you know near Winter Garden and all that come to Orlando to work not a lot of people should be going from here to Tampa we should encounter traffic near Tampa uh, and then we'll head north so y'all stick and you know let's go check out some manatees and get some information about them see what's going on well, we arrived on low tide you can see usually the place where they like to be is pretty much in these little inlets uh, onto the mangroves uh, but right now there's only some diving birds and you know a couple of uh, uh, I think I saw an otter earlier but you know I lost where it was and, and those are really you know you have to keep your eye on them or you'll lose them because they can go on their little burrows but this is a little boat ramp uh, that I just thought would help us uh, see some stuff you see the birds diving over there in the background so there's got to be a school of fish there um, but on low tide it's, it's gonna be really hard seeing any uh, any manatees now that's not to say that we're not going to try um, <clears throat> here, I don't know if y'all can see this underwater. There's some leftover fish. There's some big fish right there. Uh, over there, those are like uh, maybe two feet. Um, I'm surprised that uh, there are no catfish eating them or any large fish uh, picking them off. So we went uh, on a place named Kings Bay Park. It's the Code of Conducts. Um, it's like the Rotary Club pitched in. Five dollars per vehicle. See, uh, everybody's trying to make some money, and uh, as you see, people rather walk than pay five bucks. If they're gonna go in the park, you know, because they have a vessel or something like that, they pay. But nobody likes paying for parking. It's not just me. I don't appreciate it. I mean, you fit enough cars in there not to charge people, it'll be full quickly. Here we go. There you can see the seagrass. That's their food all over. You know, I just don't see any. I mean, I. You know, it's all right. It's, uh, this is a big marina. It's all the kayakers leave from. But as you see, it's very calm. You know, not a lot of boating activity because of the temperature outside. It's actually a nice day. The sun is a bit out. It's a bit warm. It's not cool at all. This is a perfect place to come hang out and actually see them, but <clears throat> we didn't get here early enough. So that's what it looks like after they eat. 
just the leftovers uh, float on the water like that. Uh, I was told this was a good place to see them. Uh, at, at the actual spring, there is a uh, like one of those rehab places for them. We're gonna walk over there and see if they have any. You know, maybe we can get to shoot them and not be absolutely disappointed. I would rather see them in the wild, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. The lucky thing about being in Florida is that there is wildlife everywhere. You know, herons, pelicans, bugs. This little lagoon here has a lot of algae uh, in the bottom. And uh, you know, you can see that has been cut or eaten by something. That's how you can tell that they're manatees, but I don't see any. Uh, even with my glasses, I can kind of see on the water a bit and I don't see any. This would have been like the perfect, perfect spot for them to hang out because the boats don't leave out of this ramp, but there are none here. So we will continue walking and searching and maybe uh, get some overhead shots and see if we can find any. gave up on us and now we got to film on the iPhone so I am near three sisters spring I think uh, yeah that's the name of the place uh, right now I'm on Northeast Forest and Northeast Fourth and Northeast First Avenue they have a trolley but I didn't want to park all the way near the, uh, the highway and they do have a couple of public parking places, but they're full. It's only hold like 10 cars or so, maybe less, I don't know. It doesn't matter though. It don't hurt to walk for a little bit. Um, this is a kayak renting place. They got real close by, but usually it's a best practice to kayak with a partner and not by yourself. So we're gonna go and we're gonna try to Check out the spring, see what's up. There is a fee for entry, even though I have my state park pass. I think we're gonna go ahead and I have to pay for that, so that's cool. I'm really looking forward to it. There's a lot of people walking around. I'm just gonna, you know, go with the flow. And then when we're ready to go, we'll do the same. Okay, so I usually try to have something positive about these areas and uh, you know I've been walking for about 0.3 miles and it's generally well kept wild area pretty clean you know but uh, $20 no parking you know that just seems a little bit uh, what's the word I'm looking for expensive um, Especially for its location. It's, you know, way, way, way West Florida. And, um, you know, they get, they got a lot of patrons. Um, they have a lot of people that come here to kayak. Um, I think that there is a diving school that uses the lake and the springs. Um, but, you know, for conservation, I don't mind. It is a bit expensive, but you know, I don't mind. So I had a, this is the National Refuge. So sign here. So let's go and see if we can find any manatees. I was talking to one of the volunteers. He said there's actually a lot of them down here. The Water is pretty clear. Not a complete waste. Cool deal. Poor thing got cut by a boat.
came to this area and there is a ton of them resting over water. Look. All those little lumps on top of the water. And of course, this is you know, people's boat ramps. And you see a couple there swimming on the water. And you saw one that had some, some wounds from uh, on the boats. It's it's really sad to see. You heard that? Them breathing. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. them along or something so they don't get hurt by the boats. This is pretty awesome. Next time we come here, we're renting a boat or we're renting a kayak. And we are going to bring our snorkel and you know just go with them on the water. It's a big old fish right there. Oh my goodness. Wow, I don't think you can fish here either. I just thought about something, just like the people that are fishing and diving out there. Because it's outside of federal property, I might be able to fly the drone just on top. I mean, I don't know. I don't like breaking the rules like that. I said I was thinking about it. I said I was going to do it. All right, so I think at the beginning of the trail, I was a little put off because of the fee. Uh, but after seeing the manatees and um, you know, the quality of the facility and how well it's kept and clean, uh, it's okay. And I think like if you don't want to pay $20 to come in to the federal park itself, you can always rent a kayak uh, from town and uh, just go, you know, through the canal if you know where you're going or if you've got a phone with a GPS and then you know, jump in the water with your snorkel and your and your fins. And as long as you don't get into the federal area, which is marked by buoys, you're okay. Um, you know, I think that that's a better investment. I don't know how much it costs to rent a kayak. I might go check that out now that I'm leaving since I parked all the way over there. And maybe that'll help me return. But as far as, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I keep smelling, um, smells like wildcat. So I'm being cautious since I'm the only one out here on the trail. I don't think I'm in trouble. It could be javelinas or, I don't know. It's a bigger animal. It's not a skunk or a raccoon. It's something a little bigger. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, yes. Uh, I, I don't know that I would come back just to walk the trail or to, you know, just go to the spring, I would definitely come to, uh, to either paddleboard or to kayak or to snorkel. That, for sure. Now, maybe I need to be just and go to the land and check out the, uh, the spring they got over there. I don't know. I will think about it. I will ponder on that. But it was nice to come out and actually see the animal that we were looking for. You know, I was kind of feeling bad because, you know, we went searching for sea turtles twice, didn't see any. Uh, we went searching for hatchlings, didn't see any, <laughs> twice. But I did see them year before last, but I had no video. Um, and I took a couple of pictures. I'm gonna load them um, so you can see them. But, you know, I even helped them out and everything. You, you know, the, 
making sure that they weren't all getting gobbled up by the seagulls. Hey, well, thank you for hanging out with me today. It was a very productive day, I would say. Uh, you know, I just hope that y'all have a good time and see you on the next video. I'll try to make it fun next time too. Deuces.